Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I was doing my makeup and I was just about to finish it off with a few products and I thought I'm going to quickly do a video review of these because I have been using these products for a couple of weeks. I absolutely love them so I wanted to share them with you. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about... Hold on, I'm just a little hot. Whew. Okay, so I'm talking about, you might recognise this, Patrick Ta's products. I've got the highlighter. And I have one of the lip glosses to talk to you about with today. And of course the fan, I had to get the fan. So Patrick Ta is a makeup artist. He launched his own brand earlier this year and it's finally available in the UK at Cult Beauty. So I picked up these bits to try. I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna share them with you guys today and just kind of talk through them, why I like them and how I use them. So I'll tell you a little bit about each fast and then I'll show you how I use them. Okay, so this one is the Major Glow Highlighting Mist and it is like a highlighter but a spray highlighter now i love a cream highlighter so if it comes to a spray highlighter i've never tried that before was very very excited to try it this one is the color look at her which is a white pearl so there's three colors they're 28 pounds each and you get 45 grams so it's difficult to kind of compare that to other highlighters because most highlighters are either like cream and they're packaged down or like powder packaged down so it's difficult to kind of compare it to anything else and the price of it so yeah so this is look at her in white pearls it's like a nice white shade you have we love her which is pink pearl i love these names by the way and then we have we need her which is gold pearl so there's something for everyone different skin tones and also just if you prefer like a goldy look or a pearly look i like that like ice white type look and i think it works best for my skin tone and i watched a video to kind of decide on which color so i went for this one and i'm very very happy that i did next up i have the lip gloss and this comes in three colors too you get seven milliliters and it's 19 pounds which Oh, I mean, I think it's okay. I think it's really nicely packaged, nicely branded. Okay, so you have Is She Younger Than Me, which is a peach. I have She's Expensive. So I have Look At Her, She's Expensive at the moment. And there's also a pink called She's an Influencer. And I really wanted that one just for the name. But when I had a look at the colour and I watched a girl's review, I think it was Kathleen Light's review, and she said it sort of had like slight blue glitter in it. And I don't really like blue glitter in a lip gloss. So I decided against that one. And then lastly, we have the fan, which is so beautiful. And of course you could just pick up any fan. But I don't actually have like a setting fan as per se. So I just thought it was really cool. And I think it'd be nice for summer when it comes around again so this is called the she's extra setting fan this is 21 pounds which is pretty expensive actually for a fan i didn't actually get this at first and then i bought it afterwards because i thought it'd be really good to use a highlighting spray but we'll get to that and i'll show you that so that is what i got and i'll show you how each works so i'm going to start with the highlighting spray so to use it you just give it a really good shake and let me just get my hair out of the way so you kind of spray it just obviously where you would a highlighter. I've been doing this two ways that I find work very well. So the idea of the fan is basically, if I could open it, is sort of so that you do that and then you would spray and it's in the right place. And I think that's great if someone else is doing it on you, but when you do it yourself, like you can only see through that bit, which is way too far back. So like I can't actually see anything. So before I actually had the fan, I was just using my hand like that. And that works really well and it gives a nice look. But I find the best way is to actually spray it on a brush and then do it. So I'm going to do one side with using my hand to show you how to do it. And then I'll show you the other side with the brush. To give it a good shape, I just put my hand like this. And then I'll just spray it. Okay, so as you can see, it is there. Now I sprayed it way too much and went down. I've never actually done that before, so I've just wiped it off a bit. But that is the glow it is so so beautiful and it's easy enough to do that i just think the brush gives a much more precise finish and you can see where you're putting it and obviously you can use this on your body as well like you could spray it all over and i never really had a spray like that that i really like so i just love the finish of that i feel like it looks so natural and compared to a cream highlighter which sometimes can take off your makeup when you apply it using a beauty blender or whatever like you could use this for a beauty blender as well um, it can take off your makeup sometimes if you use those cream highlighters. Highlighters that I really like are the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate and the Chanel, the Essential Balm. I love them and I feel like this kind of tops them. I just love the finish of it. You can sort of spray as much or as little as you want. Obviously they spray quite a little bit, so just to show you. So yeah, now I'm going to show you how to do it with a brush. 
So I use the Anastasia A7 brush, which I bought recently, and I just started shaking this instead of this. Anyway, so this is the A7 brush. So I just spray a bit on it, like that. And then I'll just dab that where I want it so it's much more precise. So then you could even do like your nose or here, and you just get that glow. And that's it. And I feel like that looks much more natural because it's much more precise where I wanted it. And obviously I sprayed a lot more there and it kind of went down my face by accident. But as you can see, I mean, it looks kind of the same, but I think that one is a lot bit more. But that's that. It's just so beautiful. I, I actually love it. It just depends kind of what highlighter look you like. Do you like it really like blinding, like a sort of Jeffree Star skin frost? Do you want it quite subtle? Is this too much for you maybe already? But you could only put a tiny tiny bit of this on and really work it up like I just think it's so beautiful like this is actually my favorite highlighter I've ever had I've seen good reviews of this and I've seen a review that I think it was Wayne Goss and he said he really didn't like it um and I started to question myself a little bit because I was like he's a makeup artist like he knows what he's talking about like why doesn't he like it and I was like I love this so much and I just think it's so good I'm gonna move on to the lip gloss so this is she's expensive it's kind of like a sheer glittery lip gloss I'll show you on its own first and then I'll show you with my favourite lipstick. So it goes on really really nice and thin, it's not sticky in the slightest and it has this like mint smell which I don't really like mint but this is actually quite nice and I quite like it and it's not overpowering. So that is it on its own. This has a really clear gloss, it's a little sparkle. It's very, very simple. So I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to show you with my lipstick underneath. I'm going to go in with the shade Give Me A Kiss and this is my Kylie Jenner, Kris Jenner lipstick. This is like my favourite lipstick ever at the moment. I wear it all the time. As you can probably tell, the fact it's gone down. It's just such a perfect kind of nude everyday colour. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. And then I'm going to take the She's Expensive and apply that on top. That is with She's Expensive on top. I just absolutely love it. It just makes it so shiny. It's not sticky. It feels just really, really good. And I've been wearing this like all the time, basically. I don't find that the lip gloss stays on. I mean, I don't find any lip gloss that ever stays on, but the Kelly lipstick sort of stays on underneath it. So I just really like it. I feel like it's a really beautiful lip gloss. So we got my highlighter in, look at her on, my lip gloss and she's expensive, and my setting fan and she's extra. I just absolutely love the names of this brand. I mean, some people don't, so it's just not for some, but I love it. I just like lap it up. I just think it's so awesome. It's fun. That's what makeup should be. It should just be fun. It doesn't have to be serious. And the packaging is beautiful. I love the rose gold. I love the colours. And I can't wait to see what else he brings out. And I hope it comes out in the UK as well because I'm super, super excited for it. Pacha, I love this collection so much. So thanks for bringing it into my life. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you picked up the Patrick Habits. Let me know if you're interested in picking them up. Let me know if you didn't like them or whatever. Chat to me in the comments. Make sure you hit subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.